Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. Today I am going to do the Prestige Cup with Stage 5 only. This is an easy cup because the ARK Velocitor can be dyno by a lot utilizing specific tunes. And as uh, Kevin Veer has already posted on Facebook, you can, in fact, if you have full fusion, make it through this entire event without any Stage 6s. And I'm going to do it right now and document it on video for you so that you can come back and look at it if you are interested in knowing how to do it. So the tune here I'm playing with, there are two ways to do this. You can do a more aggressive 0100 2.10 setup, or you can run a slightly less aggressive 2.07 setup with, say, 397 or even 496 tires. Bottom line is it ends up being around 190 EVO with stage 5 full fusion. Jumping right into the Prestige Cup, you know that the target number here at the end, just from Facebook posts, it, I know that's around 10.4 to 10.38. And at some point, I'm going to have to do 118 mile per hour speed trap. The sprints are relatively straightforward and not that fast. So that's not really all that much of a problem. The good news about the stage five only setup with the arc velocitor is that with this specific dyno beating setup, where you're dynoing 11.6, you're actually running 10.3s. You can run as low as 10.35 with this setup, maybe even 10.34s. So it's a very quick time. In fact, it's better than a full Evo tune at stage five only. Whether you put it to fourth gear or third gear, you're probably going to run around a 10.5 at best. And here you're running 10.3s. So that extra 10 and a half will be what you need to get you through the Prestige Cup without any stage sixes. Now, driving technique. So far, you've seen I'm trying to launch right around 3000 RPM. If you get it just right and you shift out of first at the right time, you should be able to get consistently into the 10.3s, but uh, that right there was a 10.367 run. I know I can do a little better, but again, you got to find the right spot. Now, I've also tried 2.5K launches, which are pretty good. But again, it's a little bit hit or miss. With this kind of stuff, your tune, your device, the exact position where you actually launch, even though the needle says it's a 2.5K launch, who knows what the device think it is? Right, because we all know sometimes we run a time on the device and then the end screen comes out and you're like, whoa, that's like a few hundreds off from what I thought it would be, or even a tenth off. So keep that in mind that it's not an exact science here. Although generally on a good Apple device, it's probably dead on versus I'm running on an Android device and you kind of have to fudge it a little bit because everything's a little more fuzzy and vague when it comes to Android. All right, 10.411 on that run, despite the fact it looked like it was a decent shifting run, but still doing pretty well. We haven't really been too slow with the runs, and we're moving right along here. Now, the first 10 races or so, you're facing slow T1 cars, so you know there's going to be no problem for you to beat them. Even if you didn't have this tune and you were running, say, standard uh fourth gear tune for this car with full fusion, you'll still be doing 10.5s and easily getting through all this. So the first 10, 15 races really isn't anything to worry about. What I do is I use these races to kind of test different driving techniques in preparation for later. Um, in this case, <clears throat> I haven't found anything that's more effective than what I've been doing. All right, so here, 20 tokens, 1.937, 0 to 60. So 0 to 60 is very quick on this car. You won't have a problem with the sprints. The only thing you got to watch for is that speed trap because with the way I'm driving it now, and I forgot to hit nitrous. Okay, no, I didn't. Wait, I did. Yes, I did now. Okay. So the point of all this exercise of hitting the nitrous late is I just found out whether the car can beat 118 mile per hour. Yes, you ran a lot slower, but guess what? That was 119 mile per hour. So speed trap wise, we're going to get through. So it looks like 
Not hitting nitrous in first gear and hitting it sometime in second gear is all you need to do. And then shift into third at some point so the top speed can exceed 116. So 119 right there, that means 120 is probably doable because I kind of didn't hit nitrous on time on the first gear there. But anyway, 120 should be doable. Here we go, 10.363, that's a good run. Um, let me see if at some point I can beat that. Okay, 100 mile per hour speed trap, I can do 116. So no need to use nitrous late, but I'll do it anyway just to see if I can hit a really high speed. So I'm waiting until 4.5K in second and then shifting into third and we hit 120. That's well beyond 118. Should guarantee that I can make it through. Oh, actually it gave me 121, even better. 121 mile per hour. The final speed trap is going to be 118. So that just told me I'm good to go. Time-wise, I already know I'm good to go. And even at this point in the video, I've pretty much proven to you that you should be able to make it all the way through. But I am going to finish the entire 30 races on video just to kind of document everything. So there's no doubt that this car can do everything at stage five. All right. What about if you're missing fusions? I know that question is going to come up. If you're missing fusions, you're not going to be able to do this at stage five only. One of my other accounts actually is missing a few fusions and as much as I tuned it, the car can only do a 10.5 to 10.48. Um, I was missing a few intake fusions. In fact, I believe just three and it prevented me from hitting this 10.3 range. And that also means I'm not getting it through the end uh, without some other parts. So missing even three fusions could change the entire game here for you as far as trying to get through with stage five only. Now, which fusions you're missing also makes a difference. Some fusions carry a lot more evil than others. I happen to be missing intake ones, which apparently were pretty important. Um, who knows if you're missing turbo or you're missing something off of transmission, uh, maybe it'll be different. But if you're missing more than one or two uh, fusions, expect to struggle to try to get through with stage five only. In that case, the hope is that when you get to race 28 or when you go and get the uh, um, what the crew cup tomorrow that has the actual stage six in it, you'll be OK. Uh, that'll allow you to get the stage sixes, hopefully that you need. Um, I have another video that tells you the stage six effects. And I can tell you right now, nitrous is probably the most important one and tire being probably the most useless. Uh, but <clears throat> hopefully you get something in the top four rather than the bottom three. Okay. At this point, we're starting to move into tier three car opponent. That just means they're getting faster. But so far, the opponents are not even coming close to what you run. So midway through the event, you haven't had any real challenges. And it's going to kind of stay this way probably until the final few runs. Okay, moving right along, race 16. All right, so here's a 109 mile per hour speed trap. This again, doesn't require any special um, driving technique, just standard because you'll hit 116. And that means you won't have a problem with this one. And that gets us essentially halfway through the event now. Some points right there, let's keep going. All right, moving up to tier four opponents. That just means the cars are getting faster. And also, you're going to see a little change at the bottom here when you hit that flag at the end of the track. We'll see that in a second. I'll explain what I'm talking about. Because your dyno says your car runs 11.6, at this point, you have opponents that are now running very close to your time. So notice the bottom's red. It's saying it's an extreme race. Well, <clears throat> that's nice, but the opponents are actually only running 11s. So the fact that it's saying it's an extreme race is partly because your dyno says you run 11.6. Now, unlike a supply cup though, the computer doesn't give you slower opponents. All it does is tell you you're screwed, um, but the opponent's still gonna run what they're gonna run. So you cannot use 
a dino beating tune that doesn't run fast enough to try to beat this cup, you still have to run fast enough. Uh, these are set time opponents, meaning they always run this kind of time with the exception of the final opponent being sometimes a little different depending on which card you pull. Okay, again, speed trap, um, not speed trap, sprints. Very, very easy. That was the uh, faster sprint. The opponent's only down to 3.04 and you're at 1.9. Uh, so sprints, no stress whatsoever. You're going to get right through them. All right, opponents are still pretty far behind me, even though it's telling you every race is extreme at this point. So you just kind of ignore that and do what you got to do. All right, 10.39. Okay, another tier four opponent. That's not a bad launch, I hope. The shift is a slight bit late, but it's not terrible. What's the time? Ooh, that was a good one. 10.352, that's probably the best one I've done. All right. Okay, now here's that speed trap I was talking about, 118 mile per hour. So here, you're not going to use nitrous right away. You're going to eh, ride out first, ride out partially second, and hit nitrous around 45k, and early shift into third. So the end portion of the nitrous can push that final few mile per hour. And again, 120 mile per hour on 118, no issues. And we make it right through this race. And that was race 22. So after that, it's pretty much going to be time runs. Uh, so it's just a matter of running your time at this point. Okay, let's see. We got a tier four opponent. 3,000 RPM launch. I might have shifted a little early there. Um, that other one where I did the 10.35, I think I shifted a little bit later. But I also launched a little bit earlier. Who knows? Eh, 376, not terrible. Okay, 40 gold. That makes up for the gold I spent earlier to get gas. So <clears throat> if you do buy gas, there's enough gold in the event to pay you back for the gas that you spent. So no big deal there. Moving right along. All right, this is going to be interesting. I think the opponents should be now running low 11s. So notice things are getting a lot closer, but not quite enough to make you worry. It's just that they're getting closer. So we're down to 11.0. And there's another 45,000 RP, 10.509. Ooh, that was a bad run. I don't know what happened there. Okay, ooh. Bentley. That's a car that accelerates more near the end. So I expect to see it slowly pulling up as we get to the end of the track. But, of course, it's not going to be enough. But that's the pattern of those cars. 3.365, eh, 10.365, not bad. Haven't beaten that 10.352 uh, yet. In fact, I haven't duplicated it either, so I'm just going to let it go. Whoops, that's a little too early. This is not going to be the greatest run. Um, under 2,000 RPM start, it's a little bit too early. And that usually hurts us somewhat. Um, let's see what we ran. Oh, yeah, 10.5. So, yeah, definitely hurt the run a bit there. Okay, so race 28, stage 6 time. Now, if I get a nitrous, it would be nice, but let's see what we get. All right, no problem this time with the run. Well ahead of the opponent, that's a 10.3 something. Right, right, 10.3. Oh, 10.41, okay. Oh my god, tired. Okay, that's the worst stage six I could have possibly gotten. And naturally, it's the one I got. Wonderful. 
the worst stage six. So it's a good thing my goal here was to beat this entire cup with stage five only because had I gotten that stage six, it wouldn't have helped me much at all if I was really short and couldn't make it on stage five. Okay, another bad run. I'm uh, losing concentration here, but we're up to the final run, so I better concentrate a little better. Okay. As long as I get into the 10.3s, I should have no problem winning this. So that's a good launch point, and the shift wasn't bad, so got this, I'm pretty sure. And that's it. That's your final run right there, and boom, 180K, uh, stage 5 only prestige cup completed with a 10.363 run not bad at all this is a very easy pc cup and if you're in fact looking at stage five only is all you got here it is this is the one that allows you to get through i'm kind of happy natural motion actually allowed this because usually the prestige cup's not this easy in my stage six video i was predicting like a 10.1 uh, or even 9.9s. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Hey, I hope you liked this video and enjoyed watching the Prestige Cup being run this way. And uh, good luck this season in the Prestige Cup. Remember, you could do it with Stage 5 only.